Yeah, just with the approach we're going to take to this game, Tim. Um, Lolo's come in. Tom Cusack's played very well. Uh, Lolo's come in at seven there. Just uh, you know, bigger body, uh, bring some energy and physicality. And um, whilst Tommy's played really well, as I've said a number of times, uh, I'm prepared to um, uh, rotate a player in if it's uh, for that particular opposition. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the decision there. Scott's here, obviously very important for the set mm. piece, isn't he? Yeah, oh, he is. You know, he's a World-class loose head prop, so um, you know we need to be realistic. Uh, Scott's coming back off an injury. He played a, a bit of time against the Chiefs in the trial game, so I uh, just want him to do the basics really well there. And obviously, uh, it starts with scrum, doesn't it? And we were really disappointed with how he scrummaged against the Reds and um, wasn't at our standard and, and understand we need to be better. And looking at the way the Rebels play, I mean, they've got a big back row. You mm. want to combat that with... Somebody like Lola? Yeah, I just think it's going to be a physical game. Um, it will be, you know, Coleman, uh, Murphy, these sort of players, they're going, to, um, they're going to turn up with physicality. They're back at home, so we need to make sure that we do the same. And it's certainly something that Lolo brings to the, uh, to the side, as does Scotty Sia. You know, they're big boys as well, and uh, they'll provide a lot of energy, and, um, and, uh, and we'll challenge them up front as well. Scotty CEO, it's, it's not too soon. You think it's right for him to come in? That's still early days, but he's, mm. he's fit. Oh, yeah, one thing we do here is uh, we, through our medical staff, we don't rush guys back. You know, it's about making sure that they're fit and able to play and, and, and ideally perform, you know. That's, uh, that's the most important thing. And, and Scotty's trained really well this week, so um, just had a good chat to him after training. He's, he's got through well. He's, uh, he's excited to be back. Dan, what's the review been like of last week's game? You had a, a few days to stew on it now. What have you picked out that you need to work on? Oh, look, I was, I was happy with our, with our defensive effort. Um, and, you know, obviously the set piece is, is where we were, you know, in, in the second half, our set piece didn't function. Uh, our scrum in particular, the way we would like it to. A um, couple of mall opportunities there. I, I think there's certainly infringements there from, uh, from the defensive team, but We've got to take uh, the officials out of it, you know, and make sure that we convert those opportunities. So I was really pleased with our with our defensive effort, but why are we defending so long? Is was what I asked the players, and it's and it comes down to ball control. So when we hold the football for uh, for good periods of time, we'll challenge any opposition, and uh, and that's what we've got to do better: is shore up our set piece and make sure that uh, that we control the ball uh, for long periods. Does that react like I know you said Scotty's coming back from injury and stuff like that, but obviously um, Falau on the bench there. Mm. And, Ah, uh, Phil Ciana, yeah. yeah. Um, is that a reaction to the way that the scrum performed last week? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, look, Robbie Abel's got a, a rib injury, but um, I, I'd always plan to give uh, Phil Ciana an opportunity um, at some point in time over the next couple of weeks, so that works in nicely there. Obviously disappointing for Robbie, but it shouldn't be too long. Uh, and, um, yeah, Phil a you know, he's, uh, he's trained well all pre-season. Um, I think Nick Mayhew probably needs a little bit more time in a runner's game. Um, so that's uh, the decision there, but um, yeah, we've, we've given guys opportunity and now other guys get a chance this week to um, make sure we improve where we need to improve. With Falau as well, like he's obviously been earmarked already by mm. Michael Checker, what are you expecting from him? Oh, look, similar to Scotty, I just want him to do the, the simple things really well and that's, you know, his line out throw, his scrum, he, he's a dynamic footballer, good young kid who's got a big future, we just need to make sure that we uh, we stay realistic there, not to not expect too much of them too early. Um, he hasn't played a Super Rugby game yet, so let's uh, let's just get uh, his role and his performance right in a Brumbies jersey, and then um, Michael will worry about uh, what happens with uh, with higher honours. Were you surprised by the issue of the scrum last weekend, and, and how much change can a player like Scotty with his calibre bring? Oh, let's see, one thing with our scrum is it's not about the individuals. It's you know as a unit. Um, we let ourselves down, so you know it wasn't. Everyone looks at the front row and how was our back row scrummaging? How are our locks scrummaging? So, uh, yeah, surprised because it's, it wasn't our standard. We certainly don't go into a game thinking that we're um, our scrum's going to be under the pump for the last uh, half an hour of a game and uh, and cough up a few penalties off the back of it. So, um, we've uh, as a unit we've got to be better. You know, Scotty, you know, he's very good in that area, but Scotty's not going to fix it alone. It's uh, it's all eight that are on at any particular time. And obviously Well, the penalty's off the back of the scrum, really. A couple of ill-disciplined Ill ones there in and around offside and, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, look, we were off last week and there's a number of factors and, and uh, what we're after this week is a response. Cole was saying earlier in the week, uh, it's almost a must-win to try and get that momentum going, particularly you guys coming into the home games. How important are these Australian derbies 
particularly, I guess, when you guys take the points, it means that Melbourne can't get those points within the Australian Conference. Oh, yeah, I think, that, I think they're all important. Um, but, you know, these Australian Conference games, obviously, you know, if you win your conference, you're guaranteed a position in the final. So, um, you know, they're, they're critical games. It's, look, it's the third game uh, into, uh, into the season. What I'm, what I'm really interested in and, and what we want to uh, provide and produce this week is just a really good performance. Uh, get our process and our performance right, and the outcome will look after itself. So that's uh, that's what we've got to focus on individually, making sure that our performance is at, at the level that we expect. What have you made of the new look Rebel stand? Uh, yeah, they've, they've gelled well, haven't they? You know, they uh, they uh, you know they've hit hit the uh, hit the ground running. Obviously, against the Reds, there the Reds had to deal with 14 and 13 players, um, and um, you know they were impressive up in uh, up in Tokyo. Um, so uh, you know their 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 roster is uh, is strong and, um, and and they've played well. They've started the season really well. So um, credit to uh, the guys down there. You know they've obviously uh, got things uh, got things humming early, and um, you know they're going to be a challenge for us. But uh, I think that, uh, that our boys, how we've shown up this week and, and reviewed and been honest with each other, we're um, we'll be ready to play. KG said earlier in the week also that. Um Spark was missing a little bit. Mm. He, was a, he was a little bit surprised by that. Did you pick up that? And were yeah. you surprised given it was week two? I thought, like, what we reviewed is we're creating a lot of opportunities. I thought we just lacked like, that little bit of spark there to actually see them and take them. And that's something that we're trying to change. You know, we've got our bread and butter and our, our strengths of our game. We're, we're off on, on Friday night, but we just like that little bit of spark in attack. And, you know, we've, as a coaching group, we've reviewed how we prepared last week off the back of some travel. Um, we've tweaked a few things there, so like we review the performance of the players, I've got to review what I'm doing, I've got to review what our staff are doing and make sure that we, uh, we get that right. Mick Byrne was out on the field with the boys there, what kind of stuff was he doing or was he going with watching them? Uh, well, I think just in and around the alignment with, um, with the Wallabies coaching staff this year, we had all of them in yesterday um, for, for meetings, so it's just uh, that more of that face-to-face -face contact, where can we be aligned with... Um, skill development, that sort of thing. Mick's obviously one of the best uh, skill coaches um, in the world and uh, so it's, it's great to have him down and, and just another set of hands, another resource. And I think that's what, one thing that Michael's trying to do, Michael Checker, is make sure that the coaching staff, you now that they're all full-time at the Wallabies, that the, the, the franchises use them as an additional resource and it's, it's great to have access to those guys. And uh, Poe was running around there training before, how's he tracking? Good, you yeah, know, he's tracking well. So as I've said uh, a couple of times now, I think um, around that bye week, potentially Waratah's game. So we'll, uh, we'll see how the next couple of weeks go. But he's, um, he's provided a lot of enthusiasm and energy uh, over the last couple of days, which has been great to have. Waratah's game, Dan, that's sort of the first time you've mentioned that game for Poe. Mm. Is it tracking ahead of schedule then? Uh, no, no, we thought we always sort of in and around that bye week. Um, that's, and that's obviously the week before the Waratah's. So he's, uh, I'd, I'd say he's on schedule to... Um, to, uh, to play in, in that game there and hopefully get a couple of full weeks of training in before he, uh, before he does play.